Leonard. I hear you're the new head astronomer of the planetarium. Oh, hi, Mona. Good to see you. Yeah, I've waited years to be head astronomer here. Congratulations. You've come a long way from being a summer camp counselor. <sighs> Looks like I won't be head astronomer for long, though. No one's coming to see my shows. Really? But you're the best. You were great at summer camp. Yeah, well, I don't know. Are you going to the show? You bet. My dad and I are going. Could you maybe let me know what you think of the show? Sure, Leonard. Along with planets, asteroids, and stars, there are black holes. A black hole begins as a star, much like our sun, except it's so large with so much gravity it collapses. The black hole's gravity is so powerful, even its own light is sucked inside of it. Why'd you drag me here, George? Black holes are so boring. I thought there'd be cool explosions and stuff, but this is Dollsville. Boring? I don't think so. I'm going to swallow everything in the universe. Everything. Did you hear that? What? Oh. Electricity failure. Please make your way to the exits. Those of you who are still awake. Oh! Ow! Space goes on and on forever. And so did that guy talking. So what did you think, Mona? Um, well... It was a good show, but maybe you could talk louder or be more excited or something? More than half of my audience fell asleep. Ah, uh, fangs seem pretty interested. Leonard, could a black hole really swallow the whole universe? Uh, I don't know but I feel like I'll be swallowed by a black hole if I don't get more business. If I can do anything to help, just let me know. Thanks, Mona. I know if you could help me, you would. Probably just vibrations from a power surge. I heard the electric company was having problems. And just what do they think is causing these electricity problems? Uh, technical difficulties? Or a black hole, more likely. I better unplug this fridge until the electric company gets things back to normal. It sucked out my math homework. It's a black hole, and I think someone's stuck inside it. It's late. You better get back to bed, honey. Mona, it would be a little bizarre if your homework disappeared under the fridge because of a, a black hole. Dad, it's only bizarre from a Newtonian point of view. Black holes are condensed matter with such great mass, all the laws of physics break down completely. You're positive it was a black hole? Yeah, it sucked my homework away into nothing. Mona didn't do her math homework! I did do it, but it got sucked up by a black hole. The laws of physics are breaking down and... But the laws of homework are not breaking down. And I want to see yours on my desk first thing tomorrow. Ha ha! And Angela, you have a detention after school tonight. Tattling and teasing doesn't build trust between classmates. Hmm. Did you hear that? It's coming from the school basement. Come on. You think
think that black hole is down here? It's following me, and I want to know about it. Cool! The electricity's gone out! Let's get out of here. That was a great chair. Tasted good. <laughs> Not so boring now, eh, Mona? <laughs> the black hole has a flashlight and lo looks a lot like the janitor? Satman's Black Hole Defense League. Oh, hi, Mona. Backup support at the library. Gotcha. I thought this was an emergency. I've read everything I can on black holes, and they're a paradox. Astronomical monsters that want to suck everything inside themselves. Everything? That's right, everything. But the question is, why is it following me around? At the planetarium, in my kitchen, in the school basement. Not again. Help! Mona! I know if you could help me, you would! I'm going to consume your whole boring world. One of them said, Mona, I'm inside. I know if you could help me, you would. Of course. Leonard the astronomer. But I feel like I'll be swallowed by a black hole. He's been swallowed, and the black hole sounds mad. Leonard's shouting for me to help him. So what do we do? We have to stop the black hole from swallowing the rest of the town and get Leonard out of it. Princess Giant and I will get flashlights and go to the planetarium. Zatman, there's a weapon you can retrieve from your headquarters. We can't wait any longer. Maybe Zatman's already inside. He better be. There's no escaping me this time. <laughs> no way out, my little friend. You're mine. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't see that man here. Welcome to my inner sanctum. Not so boring as everyone thinks, is it? <laughs> Someone's got to help me! Quiet, Leonard, you bore. You might upset my guests. Your light isn't very powerful. <laughs> Try this one, you big galoot. Uh, uh. Bet you don't feel quite so tough now. Oh, no! I need new batteries. <laughs> well, let's get things hopping. Ah! Help me, please. think I'm boring when I swallow the whole town and then the whole universe! Not so fast, you old windbag. You've swallowed the wrong guy this time. Not even you can stop me, Zatman. <laughs> oh, yeah? Turn it off, please! I only wanted Leonard to make me sound more exciting. <laughs> That man? What are you guys doing here? Saving you from the black hole. It's been following me and I heard you shouting for help. It was going to suck up the whole universe. But we stopped it by blasting it with light. I think it was angry because everyone thought it was boring. I guess I have been in kind of a black hole. 
I've been so worried and depressed about nobody coming to my shows. But hey, this story gives me an idea. The giant star, the super sun, grows and grows with so much gravity. It collapses in a vast implosion. The black hole, powerful enough to suck in asteroids, planets, and even other stars. Even its own light is sucked inside. Incomprehensible, pushing science to its absolute limits. Now, that's a black hole. <laughs> classroom Ow. but I haven't told how I vanquished the goon from the moon lagoon yet it's in my memoirs I appreciate your attempts at cooling us off on a hot day but I don't think vampire detective qualifies as a career choice I'm giving you an extension to do your report over I don't want another career vampire detectives get to travel and meet interesting people Ouch! What's that? It's an ad for something called Mr. Vasquez Wax Museum. Hey! Wax Museum Curator! There's a career you could write about. It's original and creepy. Hello? Anyone here? Brr, this place is like a fridge. Talk about low budget. <laughs> the dummies look like they were dressed at a dollar store. The silly swatter. Is that even a real monster? Meow! This one looks like the man on the poster. It's the worst statue of all. It doesn't even look convincing. You can tell it's just cheap wax. Was that the museum owner? Creepy. Wait, I can't just leave. I'm supposed to do my report on him. Uh, I'm supposed to be home by now. My mom is taking me uh, shopping for a new dress. See you tomorrow. I, uh, I also have to go shopping for a new dress. Bye. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Vasquez? We didn't mean to startle you. This hot weather is making me sluggish. Fine bouquet. Ah, sweet wax, preserver of life. <gasps> Paris, I will introduce Haute Couture for Stray Cats. Petals, no! That's silk! Oh, well, thank you, Angela, for your report on fashion design. Well, seeing how today is even hotter than yesterday, what do you say we all go home? Yeah! Early? Miss Gatto, can I have more time to do my report? Oh, another extension, Mona? Have you chosen a career yet? Sure did. Wax Museum Curator. Really, Mona? That's not a real career either. Mona tells the truth. Uh, I am Mr. Vasquez. You might have heard of the little wax museum I just opened in town. So, you're the wax museum curator. <laughs> not a very impressive one, I'm afraid. But I will be soon, thanks to Mona. I believe this is yours, by the My way. My memoirs. I took the liberty of reading them. It's given me new ideas for my collection. Speaking of which, have you ever had your beauty rendered in wax? <laughs> oh, I could never! Not in a million! Actually, I almost modeled once. 
I must leave. I'm simply melting in this heat. But you're both invited to my grand opening. Such a gentleman. <laughs> wow, this place looks great. Mmm. Hors d'oeuvres. Oh, the door. Oh, this heat simply won't let up. Well, you're just in time for a tour. First, we have the mummy and its ancient curse. We have the wolf man, half man, half beast. He prowls the moonlit moors. This will make a great report. We covered all the old classics. And that's what was wrong. Your memoirs inspired me to bring a new addition. Oh, it's Miss Gotto. I was able to convince her to uh, model for me. She's so lifelike. You can almost hear the squeak of her chalk. I realized how everyday people make fascinating subjects. In fact, has anyone ever told you that you have the profile of a movie star? <laughs> really? I must say, I've always liked my nose. Why don't we talk in my workshop? <gasps> Miss Gatto! Uh, please, Mona, don't touch the statues. Come into my workshop. There's plenty of wax there. Uh, we have to go. Thanks. Maybe you only thought you saw the eyes move because of the lighting. Then why did he stop me from getting close? That was no statue. Wow. Mr. Vasquez dipped the real Miss Gatto in wax. I think we're gonna need some backup. Come on, kids. Dipping people into wax? Don't take our word for it. She's right in here. Reverend Gregory! <coughs> we're too late! In fact, you're just in time. I just finished dressing the statue. Hear that, Mona? A statue, not actual people dipped in wax. You know how kids are, Mr. Vasquez. I'm flattered they find my art so convincing. Uh, speaking of which, you have a remarkable physique. I have been working out. Don't listen to him. He wants to turn you into a giant candle, too. Mona, let me handle things for once. Why can't you just watch TV like other kids? In here. I think everyone's gone. Let's hurry. I'm freezing. Hang in there, Miss Cotto. We'll have you out of here in no time. Wait. Let me help you. <gasps> uh. Officer Halcroft! He's dipping people into wax faster than we can save them! Have you children come back for another visit? I do hope this time you'll stay for eternity. <laughs> Blasted cat! This way! Quick! There's nowhere to hide! Yes, there is! Oh, dear. Where could they be? <gasps> Let us out of here! Allow me to introduce the stars of my collection. You! I'll ruin things for you. You'll never get this look off my face. It's an honor I'm doing you, children. Visitors will come from afar to see the great Mona, vampire detective, and her two sidekicks. Sidekicks? Why, you... The wax must be just about ready. You see, I've worked with wax for so long that it has consumed me. You mean you're made of wax? Yes, but eternal life is the reward, as long as I stay away from the heat. <laughs> Hot! I'm melting here! Melting? 
Of course! Well, we're beat, Mr. Vasquez. You got us. Mona and my two... Uh, how did you say? Your two sidekicks. I'll put them in the secondary exhibit. <gasps> it's Princess Giant. It took me days to make this costume. Ugh. You broke the thermostat. The heat. Nobody calls me a sidekick. What's the matter? Feeling a little hot under the collar? The fridge. My last chance. No. Mona the Vampire melted the villain and freed his victims. That is why I don't use Wax Museum Curator as a career. Thank you, Mona. But the electric company said it was blown fuses that shut down the air conditioning. It simply wasn't meant to run all day and night. Then how do you explain Mr. Vasquez's mysterious disappearance? And where were you and Reverend Gregory? Reverend Gregory was likely on a retreat. And Mr. Vasquez has probably gone to the country to get away from the heat. Which is where I was, had you bothered to ask around. Pardon the intrusion, Miss Gatto. This postcard came in for Mona. It's from that dear Mr. Vasquez. <laughs> oh. I thought he melted. Well, what does it say? Dearest Mona, I simply wanted to tell you all is going well for me in Greenland. Things don't melt quite so easily here. And I've opened a little ice museum. Ice museum. In fact, when winter comes around where you are, I intend to pay you a visit. <laughs>